Bradley Max has been appearing on various Celsius YouTube channels, instructing folks on how they can sell their claims using his claims market platform. So should you sell your claim? The answer is pretty simple. Hell no. If you can avoid selling your claim, don't sell your claim. These bids are pretty much universally predatory and we're beyond the halfway point. So you really should dig in and try to make it through to the other side because otherwise you're forfeiting value to these vultures, they're giving you predatory bids. I don't personally recognize any of the names of people that have been selling their claims, which suggests that these are not folks that have been involved in the bankruptcy process, which then suggests that there's an asymmetry of information between people buying and selling claims. The folks buying have both access to superior financial power and information. From my perspective, it's the duty of everybody who's involved in this process to try to counsel folks to make the best financial decisions for themselves. And there's almost no circumstance that selling claims at this point would make sense. The folks bidding on claims can likely see the finish line around the corner, which is the greatest time to buy claims because you're getting closer to a payout. Now this process could drag on, but we're likely beyond the halfway point. Despite the best efforts of attorneys to make this as long and painful of a process as possible while acting in our best interests, this can't go on beyond another year. It just simply can't because there will be pitchforks in the streets. We will be storming the crypto castle. This needs to come to an end. Almost certainly selling your claim is not the right move. This is financial advice. I'm just not your financial advisor, but I can tell you that it makes almost no sense to sell at this point in time. Even if you need funds desperately, there's almost certain to be a more affordable way of getting access to those funds. You could consider taking out a personal loan. You could try opening up an interest-free credit card to float your expenses in the near term. Those can go for as long as 18 months. And even though this is not a good financial idea, the point is it's probably a better financial idea than selling your claim. It's gonna cost you less money. If you do run a balance on an interest-free credit card, your utilization percentage will go up, your credit score will be impacted negatively. So it's not a good idea but it's likely a lot less expensive than selling your claim at a huge haircut. You could be losing up to half the value of your claim if you're selling to these predators. In my opinion, the only fair type of bid would allow you to share in the upside when your claim pays out. Almost certainly, the payout they're offering you is gonna be less than the liquid value of your claim under the plan, which means they're getting not only the spread, between what they're willing to pay and what the claim will pay out, but they're also getting all the equity upside in the case of a plan going through. And in the case of a liquidation, they would just get a higher liquid crypto distribution. It is uncertain what our liquid crypto payout will be under the plan. I've estimated about 30% in kind. That might be on the high side. Under liquidation, you could potentially expect a bit over half in kind paid out to you but all the hard assets would have to be liquidated. And it's uncertain whether that, that would be a single payment. There might still need to be a second round of distributions after the hard assets are liquidated. Now, Keith has floated the number 70% payout. That would be petition date pricing. And while it is easier to calculate petition date pricing because that's a snapshot in time, the debtors are providing access around this petition date pricing. But we have to keep in mind that this is a cosmetic number. As a Celsius creditor, it's the in-kind number that matters. The petition date pricing will fluctuate based upon the market. Your in-kind number is gonna be relatively stable unless you hold stable coins. There is an interesting situation where if you hold all stable coins, your claim does vary based upon the basket of cryptocurrency assets that the debtor holds. Because your claim is fixed to dollars, you recover more if the basket of cryptocurrency assets that the debtor holds increases in value. This creates a paradoxical situation where the people not invested in cryptocurrency assets get their recovery determined by those assets that they're not invested in, where the people who actually are invested in those assets lose some in-kind recoveries as those assets appreciate. As a creditor with non-stable coin assets, you actually lose if the market appreciates because your in-kind distribution will decrease because that needs to go to stable coins holders. So it's this weird situation where if you're invested in cryptocurrency assets, you lose those assets slightly as they appreciate in value 
And if you're a stable coin holder who's not invested in those assets, you actually gain if those assets you're not invested in appreciate. Now that does sound kind of weird and it can be hard to get your head around, but it's an odd quirk because of the fixed petition date pricing. Now, petition date pricing is the most straightforward way to calculate recoveries, but as a Celsius creditor, we don't like these numbers because they are not reflective of the amount we will actually get back. It's actually better if you're a non-stable coins creditor to get 50% petition date pricing over 100% petition date pricing if you believe in the long-term value of your cryptocurrency assets because you would get more in kind even though the petition date pricing percentage would be less. So it is counterintuitive. You have to keep in mind that the attorneys and fraud apologists look to petition date pricing as a way of selling how great of a job they're doing because there's a handicap. The petition date pricing is as if you sold your holdings at the bottom of the market. So of course, it's gonna make the recoveries look better. But those are not numbers that really anybody should give a shit about. It's the in-kind numbers that matter. And if you want some help in calculating what the petition date pricing would translate to in in-kind, here is a formula that can help you do that calculation. The basic idea of this formula is we're gonna take your petition date claim value. We multiply that by the estimated recovery in petition date pricing. And then we take that over the real time value of your account. And then that would translate into your in-kind recovery. Now, this is gonna always change based on the pricing and it's much more difficult to calculate because you're taking this estimate and then that would also adjust when the prices adjust. So you'd have to kind of continually plug into this formula to get a ballpark of roughly how they translate together Let's just summarize, should you sell your claim? No, are bidders taking advantage of you? Yes, it is nice to have the option of cashing out, but you shouldn't because you're leaving so much value on the table that it will be on the halfway mark. So just say no to Bradley Max if you wanna maximize your claims. Now, because Bradley Max has been hitting the road really hard on these crypto bankruptcy channels, I have wanted to do him the favor of creating a special theme song that he can use free of royalties for any future appearances. This theme song is actually from February when the claims were trading for 16% of claim value, which is just disgusting. Effectively, it is gonna be a single percentage of your in-kind value. Absolutely abhorrent. You should be ashamed for even offering those prices. The claims market people have explained that the bid value dropped because of the FTX bankruptcy flooding the market. This just shows you though that these people are taking advantage of desperation. It's very unlikely the claims market guys or Bradley Max will be making an appearance on the Helsius Network because here at Helsius, we take scalps and not sponsorships. Bradley Max, Bradley Max, Bradley Max, you've been fucked. By Celsius, fucked by Celsius, get fucked by Bradley Max. 16% on your claim with Bradley Max. Every individual is, is their choice, and every individual has different facts and circumstances. And so, you know, some people have sold because they need the liquidity, some people have sold because, you know, they can take the present value in their claim and invest in something of their choosing, as opposed to having this forced investment in Celsius or FTX or whatever it might be. And, you know, we've heard, you know, other reasons for sales as, as far flung as people wanting the cash for their daughter's wedding or, or, or buying a building. Uh, and so, you know, as, as, as we've said, it, it's really every, every individual's in a different case, a different situation. And, uh, you know, it, it's always, you know, whether or not it makes sense for them. Uh, you know, the sale of a bankruptcy claim is the sale of a, of a financial asset, just like if you own a stock or a bond. You know, some people sell because they want to go invest in something else. And uh, some people want to hold it because they hope one day it's going to be worth more than it is today. You know, the the the, the seller can very well come out ahead and, and the buyer hopefully makes some money as well in the long run.